Welcome back. We have a health alert tonight. Doctors sounding off the alarm about a little known disease spread by ticks. It's called Powassan. It starts with flu like symptoms, but can affect your consciousness and cognition. 15% of people who get that disease die and half will have permanent neurological effects. The best way to prevent this, cover up and use insect repellent. Thanks to a mild winter, scientists are predicting that the tick population will be larger than normal. And that has one local family raising concerns about another serious tick-borne problem, Lyme disease. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley shares their story tonight. It's very lonely sometimes. It's very painful. 20-year-old Stephanie Samansky can hardly speak. Special treatments she is receiving for Lyme disease have affected her voice. Everything hurts my body. It just aches. The disease causes this young woman to have nonstop headaches, severe muscle and joint pain, and the need to use a wheelchair. She's just been struggling, and this is a disease that she doesn't want anybody to go through. As a young teenager in Marilla, Stephanie was an active soccer player, but she was misdiagnosed at 14, with doctors attributing her ailments to everything from MS to the flu. The doctors told us locally that she was crazy. And by the time it was confirmed that she had Lyme disease, the bacteria had infected her whole body. Her body just went down and it affected her immune system, so she has a problem with her immune system. The disease also destroyed her family financially, with medical costs topping $100,000. And most insurance doesn't cover it. Very few doctors know how to treat it. The Samanskis received help from the New York Kiwanis Pediatric Lyme Disease Foundation, which provided $50,000. We're just beginning to really feel the impact here in western New York. With experts predicting a terrible year for ticks, this group is now warning parents to be extra careful. You have to check everywhere because those ticks go where you don't even know where they'll go. The Kiwanis are also organizing a major fundraiser on June 4th to help the growing number of families like the Samanskis who are battling this debilitating disease. And coming up at 6 o'clock, we'll have advice on how to avoid being bitten by a tick and what you should do if you think you might have Lyme disease. In South Wales, Ed Riley 7 Eyewitness News.